Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 8th of 2020. Well, it is titled GW190521 unexpected black holes collide. So what do we see here? Well, this is a image showing what happens when black holes collide together. Now nothing itself can escape from a black hole. What we have the event horizon close to the black hole is the point at which the escape velocity reaches the speed of light, meaning since nothing can travel faster than light, nothing can get out of a black hole. So we can't know anything about what goes on inside. And in fact, black holes can only have a couple properties. They can have mass, they can have electrical charge, and they can have a rotation or spin. And those are the only things we can know about a black hole. What they're composed of does not matter. It could be made up of hydrogen, it could be made up of iron, it would be exactly the same. And there's no way for us to tell the difference. But when black holes orbit and collide, uh, when very massive objects move, they give off what are called gravitational waves. And this is a gravitational wave event that occurred. Now, every uh, massive object that is accelerating will give off gravitational waves. So if you move, you are giving off gravitational waves. However, the gravitational force is so weak that they would be undetectable. It, to detect them, we need very sensitive instruments and we need very massive objects colliding together. And what happens when black holes collide, if they were orbiting each other, they will slowly spiral closer and closer together. And as they do, they will move faster and faster. And as they move very fast, intense accelerations will cause ripples in space time and cause everything to ripple and vibrate a little bit. And those are things that have been detected with two uh, detectors LIGO, which is a couple of detectors down in Louisiana and one out in Washington State, and the Virgo group, both deciding to both looking to detect gravitational waves. And we made the first detection about five years ago. And since then, we've discovered a number of uh, black holes and or neutron stars that collide together. And we're beginning a new science of gravitational wave astronomy. Now one of the interesting things found here is that we can work backwards once we see a gravitational rate wave event. The pattern depends on the different properties of the black hole including their masses. And the best fit to this one was for two black holes with masses of about 66 and 85 solar masses. Now this is something unexpected because we expect that in a supernova we could form a black hole maybe up to 65 solar masses and higher mass black holes might be created by extremely massive stars that implode and could add up a little bit more mass but things in between it was not clear how such objects could form. Obviously, they are here, we've detected them. So it's another thing that astronomers will be able to look at and study. And one of the other things we're learning as we open up this new branch of astronomy. So this is similar to back in the 1930s when we opened up radio astronomy, when we were first able to detect radio waves from space, we learned and began to learn a whole lot more about the universe. And over the coming decades, gravitational wave telescopes that observe these ripples in space and time caused by collisions of massive objects will tell us a lot more about the universe. So that was our picture of the day for September the 8th of 2020. It was titled GW190521 unexpected black holes collide. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.